Now the strength exercise that we're going to be doing is called short foot. This is a small muscle exercise. So similar to how we strengthen our deep core muscles, we need to strengthen the deep foot muscles. If you are new to strengthening the foot, it might feel a little bit different or difficult as you might have a hard time connecting to those muscles. I encourage you to just be patient and keep doing these exercises because the benefit is so powerful. For this exercise, you're gonna take your mind-body mat, set that out, and then we'll get started by standing up. So we're going to bring one leg forward and the other leg back so you are in a split stance position. I want you to start by finding your foot tripod. That foot tripod is underneath the first metatarsal, the fifth, and the heel. Or you could think of this as the first toe, the fifth toe, and the heel. So you have this centered body weight. You're then going to lift your toes, spread them out as wide as you can, and place them back down onto the floor. I just increased your skin to surface contact. That in itself is improving your balance and stability. Now let's stay focused on that front foot. I want you to slightly bend the knee, stay on that foot tripod with the toes spread wide, and then you're going to start to push the tips of the toes down into the ground. Think about pushing the toenail down into the ground. Now the amount of strength that I want you to use is about 20% of your strength. So we're not going for maximum contraction. Pushing the toes down and then just relax. Let's do it again. Push the toes down and then just relax. I wanna show you my foot from the side so you could see the action that is happening. I'm on my foot tripod, I'm spreading my toes, and then I'm pushing the tips of my toes down in the ground. Relax. Push the tips down, relax. Do you see how I get that increase in my arch and I actually lift off of the ball of my foot? I want that same thing to be happening in your foot. Let's try the other side. So bring the opposite leg forward, the other leg goes back, foot tripod, spread the toes, place them down, slight bend in the knee, and then push the toenails down, and then release. Push and release. Let's do one more and just hold. Push and hold, and then release, perfect. Now when you're doing this as part of your movement longevity program, I want you to hold each of those contractions for five seconds and you're going to do five repetitions. One leg forward, five times, switch to the other side, five times. Then you're going to progress and we're going to do both of the feet at the same time. So let's see what that would look like. Bring one leg forward, the other leg back, Find the foot tripod on both feet. Front foot, back foot, spread the toes in the front, spread the toes in the back, and place them down. Now, we're going to start with just the front foot. Push the front toes down, hold. Push the back toes down, hold, and then release. Let's do it again. Front toes, back toes, release. Front toes, back toes, release both. Front, back, release. Now can you try to contract both at the same time? Front and back, release. Front and back, release. Do one more. Front, back, and release. Perfect. Let's try the other side. Other leg goes forward. Foot tripod on the front, spread the toes. Foot tripod on the back, spread the toes. Nice soft knees, and here we go. Engage the front toes, engage the back toes, release. Engage the front, engage the back, release. One more separate. Front, back, release, and then do both at the same time. Both feet, release. Both feet, release. Do one more, both feet, and release. Perfect. So again, the way you want to think about foot strength is going to be through this short foot exercise. The toes pushing down into the ground is what builds your intrinsic or small muscle strength. It's what builds the foot arch, creating a strong foundation. To review the number of repetitions, we're gonna hold each contraction, just focusing on the front foot first, five seconds by five repetitions, switch feet, 
five seconds by five repetitions. And then we go back to the other side and we do front foot, back foot, release. Front foot, back foot, release. Do that five times. And then do both feet together five times. And then you repeat on the other side. You'll see in the next video that you will ultimately progress this into what we call foot to core sequencing. To learn more about the Naboso product line, please visit naboso.com.